Let's discuss the slope of a curve at a point. Now, the slope of a curve is just defined as the average rate of change. So, let's assume a function y is equal to f of x. And this function, let's assume two points on this function a and b. So let's draw out this function. And um, we're going to have two points here and here. This can be b and this can be a. And these points have the coordinates of f, I have coordinates of a, sorry, f of a, and b, comma, f of b. All right, and then the slope of this line that's between these two points, the slope of this line will be f of b minus f of a over b minus a. This will be the slope, where m is the slope. So basically this is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is the y coordinates and this is the x coordinates. Now, if I was to find the slope at only one point of this graph, so say I wanted to find just the slope here, so the tangent line of this at A. So at point A comma F of A, what will be the slope? So for this, one of the formulas you can use is M, where M is a slope, is equal to the limit as H approaches 0, F of A plus, plus H minus F of A over h. So since h is approaching 0, you're just adding a very small small number to to the point of f of uh, to the point of a comma f of a and from that you can get the slope of a curve at a point because it's pretty much if we were to visualize it it'll just be from here to here. So it'll be a very small distance that's covering and you can get the slope of this whole thing. So it'll be a ta like a tangent line. So let's do an example now. So let's see, the example that we will do today is um, the function f of x is equal to 5 minus x squared. So the formula we discussed is over here. So let's rewrite this formula over here. m is equal to limit as h approaches 0. f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Now, um, let's find the, this is our function. Let's find the slope of this function at the point at x equal to 2. So now we know that our a here will be 2, so its limit is limit h approaches 0, f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over h. And we continue, it will be limit h approaches 0, 5 minus h plus 2 squared minus 5 minus 4, which would be over 4 over h which will be 4 minus um, h plus 2 squared over h. And always remember to write limit as h approaches 0, which would equal 4, which equals 4 minus h squared minus 4h minus 4 over h, these two 4's will cancel out. You can factor out the minus h and you'll get h plus 4 over h. This h and this h will cancel out and since oh, this is still the limit as h approaches 0 you get, if you plug in a 0 here you'll get minus 0 plus 4 giving you the answer minus 4. So the answer to this problem will be m, which is a slope is equal to minus 4.